A very good morning to all. In the last class, we started with the second chapter, which is about plants around us. And we learnt about different kinds of plants. So which are the different kinds of plants we learnt? We learnt about big plants, small plants, climbers and creepers. So today we are going to learn a new topic, which is about where do plants grow? When you look around, you can see different kinds of plants everywhere. So plants grow everywhere. Plants grow on land, in water, etc. Most of the plants grow on land, like in garden, forest, hill, desert, etc. So do you have garden in your home? If you have, you can see there are some plants which grow in gardens, like the rose plant. First of all, rose plant is a small plant or a big plant? It is a small plant. So rose plant grows in garden. Another plant which grows in garden is the tomato. It is also a plant which grows in garden. There are many other plants which grows in garden. Next is the plants which grow along the roadside. If you move around, you can see there are many small plants and big plants growing along the roadside. Next are the plants which grow in the field. Do you know what is a field? Field is a land where we cultivate fruits, vegetables, etc. So, do you know what is rice? You, have, you all have seen rice. So, where do we get the rice? We get the rice from the rice plant. So, this is the rice plant. So, do you know where do we cultivate this rice plant, which is paddy? We cultivate this rice plant in the field. Okay, then what about this one? Do you know this? This is sugar cane. From this we get sugar. And where do we cultivate the sugar? We cultivate this in the field. So, there are even many plants which we cultivate in the field. Next, let's see the plants which grow on hills. One such plant is the pine tree. Pine tree grows on hills. Another one, oak tree. Oak tree is also a big plant which grows on hills. Next one is the plants which grow in forest. Have you seen forest? So forest is a land which is covered with full of trees. So wherever you look, you can see only trees. It is a land, it is a land full of trees. So one such tree which grows there is the teak. Teak grows in forest. There are even many other trees which grows in forest. And the next one, plants which grow in desert. So desert is a land which is very hot and dry. A very few plants only grow in desert. If we look in our surroundings, we can see many plants growing there. But in deserts, you can see only a very few plants grow. One such plant is the cactus plant. Cactus plant grows in desert. These are the plants which grow on land. So next we'll see the plants which grow in water, like ponds, lakes, etc. So one such plant is the lotus. Do you know what is special about lotus? Lotus is a national flower and it grows in water. Do you know any other example for the plant which grows in water? Water lily. Water lily is also a plant that grows in water. So what did we learn today? We learned about where do plants grow. So plants grow on land and in water. So for a plant to grow, what all things does it need? It needs air, water, sunlight and food to grow. Why? Because plant is a living thing. For a living thing to grow, it needs proper air, proper water, food and sunlight to live. Now let's take page number 9. So there's a question. Rohan likes plants. He has kept all his plants in a closed room. Do you think he is doing a right thing? Is it a right thing? Can you grow a plant in a closed room? No, it is not a right thing. Why? Because for a plant to grow, it needs air, water, sunlight and food. So if you are keeping it in a closed room, will it get? No. So we should always grow a plant where it gets 
proper air, water and sunlight. Okay, so that is all about this chapter. So what did we learn in this chapter? We learned about different kinds of plants. Then we learned about where do plants grow. Now we'll move on to the exercise. So you can take page number 10. So the first exercise. Tick the correct word to fill in the blanks. So there you can see three questions. And for each question, there are three options. What you have to do? I'll read out the question and you can tick the right answer. You can tick the right option and we'll discuss the answers. So let's see the first one. A mango plant is a, the first one, tree creeper. So we can tick the right one. Moving on to the second question. Dash grow along the ground. Creepers, climbers. The third one. A tree is a dash plant. Small, big. Shall we discuss the answers? So the first one. A mango plant is a, what is the answer? The answer is tree. Mango plant is a big plant and big plants are trees. So mango plant is a tree. What about the second one? Dash grows along the ground. So what is the answer? The answer is creepers. So creepers are kinds of plants which grows along the ground. So what about climbers? Climbers grow with a support. Okay, moving on to the third one. A tree is a dash plant. A tree is a dash plant. It is a big plant. Okay, moving on to the second exercise. There are four statements given. And for the true statement, you can tick. And for the wrong ones, you can cross. So let's read the questions. The first one. Some plants grow on land. If the answer is right, you can tick. And if the answer is wrong, you can cross. The second one. Plants do not need light. The third one. Plants need water. And the fourth one. Plants do not need food. So hope you have completed. Let's discuss the answers. The first one. Some plants grow on land. Is it yes or no? Is it right? Yes, there are plants which grow on land. So what you have to do? You can tick in that box. See the second one. Plants do not need light. Do plants can grow without light? No, the answer is wrong. So you can cross. The third one. Plants need water. Yes, plants need water to grow. So you can tick in that box. Fourth one. Plants do not need food. Can plants live without food? No. So you can cross in that box. So moving on to the next page. The third exercise. There are given, there are four questions. And what you have to do for the correct one, you can write yes. And for the wrong statement, you can write no. So first we'll read the first question. Do plants grow only on land? If the answer is yes, you can write it there yes. And if the answer is no, you can write it there no. The second one, do plants grow in water? The third one, are all plants big like trees? And the fourth one, do plants need air and sunlight? So let's discuss the answer. The first one, do plants grow only on land? The answer is no. Why? Because the question is, do plants grow only on land? Do plants grow only on land? No. It grows in water also. So the statement is no. Then the second one, do plants grow in water? Answer is yes. Third one, are all plants big like trees? Yes. The answer is no. There are big plants. There are small plants, there are creepers, climbers, etc. So there are different kinds of plants and all plants are not trees. Fourth one, do plants need air and sunlight? What is the answer? The answer is yes. Plants need air, water and sunlight to live. Moving on to the next exercise, the fourth one. Write a complete sentence to answer each question. So. There are two questions and you have to answer it in a sentence. So let's read the first question. Name a plant that grows in water. 
So can you name a plant which grows in water? We have discussed lotus, water lily. These are all plants which grows in water. So you can write the answer. Lotus is a plant that grows in water. So you can write this in a sentence in your textbook. So you can pause the video, write it down in your text. Then we'll continue to the next question. The second one. What do plants need to live? For a plant to live, what all things do it need? It needs air, water, food and sunlight to live. So you can write plants need air, water, sunlight and food to live. So you can write it down in your text. Moving on to the next exercise. So there you can see five sentences and you have to fill the sentences with the right word which is given above. The first one, to grow a plant in a pot, I must fill it with. So if you are growing a plant, first you have to fill the pot with soil. So you can write it there, soil. The second one, to keep a plant alive, I must dash it regularly. So for a plant to grow, it needs water. So you have to water it regularly. So the answer is water. The third one, I must keep the plant in a place where it gets fresh air and sunlight. For a plant to grow, it needs fresh air and sunlight. So the answer is sunlight. The fourth one, a plant is a dash thing. We have learned plant is a living thing. So the answer for the fourth one is living. Fifth one, a plant needs light, soil, water. Then what all it needs? It needs air and food to live. So for the answer is air and food. For a plant to grow, it needs air, water, food and sunlight to live. Okay. Moving on to the next page, page number 12. So in that page, you can see two pictures. In that two pictures, there are two activities happening. See the first activity. In the first activity, you can see a boy is watering the plant. And you have to say which activity to be encouraged. The first one, the boy watering the plant. The second one, the man is cutting the tree. So which activity we should follow? The first one or the second one? The first one. So the activity to be encouraged, you can color it as, color the box gray. So the first activity, a boy is watering the plants. Is it a good activity? Yes, it is very good to water the plants. Then only it will grow. Then what about the second one? Is it a good activity that we should follow? A man is cutting the trees. Trees are shelter to many birds and animals and even trees provide food to us. And this activity should not be encouraged. So you can color the first box green. So this is the activity we should encourage. We should always grow plants and we should always water the plants. Okay. Next is also an activity for you. For this, you have to select a plant. Let it be any plant. You can take any plant. And there you can see 10 questions, 1 to 10 questions. And on the basis of this plant, you have to tick what is true about the plant. So let, I'll give you a small example. So suppose you're taking a rose plant. It is just an example. You can take any plant. Okay. So if I'm taking a rose plant, so what is the first question? The question is, it is a big plant. Is rose plant a big plant? No. See the second one, it is a small plant. So rose plant is a small plant? Yes. So I can tick in that box. Like that, I have to fill in the answers till 10. So you know, you can take a plant, you can select any plant and you have to tick which is true about it. Okay, I hope you have learned second chapter which is about plants around us. So we'll meet in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, bye.